Hello there, folks. DJ Bergstar here back with another tip of the day. So today I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to route a MIDI generator um, plug-in to an actual instrument. Um, I've been getting a lot of comments um, and seems like some folks are getting a little frustrated because they'll purchase a really cool MIDI generator and then they can't get any sound out of it. Um, but what you have to do is route the MIDI generator to an instrument. And most of them work the same way. So if you know how to do it for one, you pretty much know how to do it for all of them. So let's just go through the steps you need to do um, to route a MIDI generator instrument or VST to an actual instrument and get some sound out of it. So um, a lot of you like to work in the arrangement window here because you're going to be writing a song. But when I'm routing stuff, I like to be in the um, session view window here because I can see everything a little better. So um, first of all, let's move this over so you can see a little bit. Um, over here in the down uh, in the right corner here, you'll see a little arrow and you'll see your ins and outs. If that's off, you won't be able to see or able to route things. So you need to have this on and it should be on by default, but if it's not, turn that on so you can see all of your ins and outs there. Um, now, let's say you downloaded a new popular um, VST generator called Harmony Bloom here. So let's launch this. And here it is. And so um, you get the instruments and you set your scale and, um, you know, it looks good. And then you can hit the record arm button here and go ahead and play it. And look, it's going, but there's no sound. Um, and so what's going on here? Um, well, it doesn't really have sound of its own. It wants you to route that to a sound that you want. So um, let's do that. So what you do is is you pick an instrument that you want it to um, go to, and let's just pick a guitar sound here. So on this track, I've loaded up an instrument that's a, sort of a guitar sound, and where it says MIDI from, you want to select that and go down to Harmony, um, which is Harmony Bloom here. And then where it says Post Effects, you also select Harmony Bloom. And let's play it again. See, there's still no sound. So you have to make sure that you also have the Record Enable selected down here. So you've got Record Enable on the Harmony Bloom track and the instrument that you want to uh, have it play and have these routed correctly. And now when I hit a note, so now I can play and I have my um, sound coming through from Harmony Bloom. And what you can do then um, is you can record that. Uh, so if I wanted to record what I was doing, um, I can record here on my MIDI track, or I can even record on the Harmony Bloom track, um, because that way it'll record the MIDI data here, and I can route it to multiple things. Um, but if I just wanted to record it to here, I can just hit record. <laughs> So let's double click on that and see, here's the notes that it recorded down here. So that's how you would route and um, potentially record what you did to a track um, here, that a MIDI um, instrument that you uh, wanted it to play. So let's uh, do it to another instrument as well. Let's um, get at, let's turn that off so we don't hear that. Um, now, Let's get another popular one like uh, Cthulhu. So this is another great MIDI 
uh, generator and um, this can do really cool um, MIDI um, chords and so again so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the record enable on this track and if I play you'll hear that uh, nothing comes out but I can see that those chords there are playing but I don't hear anything so again let's go to a track I want this to play on let's uh, pick like a piano sound this time so this track here has an instrument where I've got a piano loaded up and I'm gonna go ahead and say from this time this is gonna be Cthulhu and then for the post effects I'm also gonna select Cthulhu and then I'm going to come down and turn the record on. And now when I hit these notes, there you go. And again, I can record either on the Cthulhu track or the instrument. Um, if I record on the Cthulhu track, um, it will record the notes I'm pressing. If I record on the um, instrument, it will actually record the full chords um, that this is generating. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, let's take a look at it. So if I double click, there's the chords that it just recorded um, down here, and I can play that back if I wanted to. Okay, so um, now, as you can see, this is just going to be the same way for all these instruments. If I wanted to do another one here, like Scalar, which is another chord generator, um, here it is, and again, what I would do is, is I would select record on this track, so it's um, sensing that I want to play that track, and then I can go to a track that I've selected here with a different uh, instrument and sound, and um, so I need to come down here to Scalar, and then my post effects is going to be Scalar, and I hit record arm there. Let's double check if I have record enabled there, yes. So now when I play something from Scalar here, let's see. There it is, coming through. All right, so I think you get the main idea here. Um, that's how you route uh, a VST um, MIDI generator to an actual instrument. Um, you just go through the steps of recording, um, put the record enable on the VST generator, and then record enable here. Make sure you're routed um, to the right instrument and you can play or record what you're doing. And um, that's basically how you route stuff. So I just wanted to throw that out there because there was a few questions I had and some comments of my previous videos that people aren't getting sound when they download these uh, nice VST generators. So anyway, um, I hope that helped uh, some of you out. And thanks again for watching. I uh, hope to see you guys next time. DJ Bergstar out.